Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Malachi chapter 2, where Malachi continued with God's message to the priests of the land. God said something harsh to them. He said, This is a warning to you. If you don't obey and if you do not resolve to honor my name, I will curse you. In fact, since I can see the future, I already know that you will not obey and you will dishonor me. So I have already cursed you. I will rebuke your descendants. I will smear feces on your faces from your festival sacrifices. And I will carry you away with the rest of the garbage. God continued, I made a covenant with my servant Levi, your ancestor. I will find someone from Levi's descendants to keep my covenant alive. He feared me and stood in awe of my name. He taught the truth and nothing false was found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and he repented for his sin. He turned many people from sin. The lips of a priest must teach the truth. You have violated this covenant so you will be despised and humiliated before all the people. The people ask God, how have we broken your commandment? We thought we were doing the right thing. God answered and said, I hate divorce. You divorced your wife and married women who worship false gods. You were unfaithful to the wife of your youth, even though she is your lifelong partner. I seek godly offspring, but you refuse to do the things that I command. God continued, I hate favoritism. You show favoritism when you try to implement my law. You let the rich off easy, and you have no mercy with the poor. And you weary me by saying things like, Everyone who does evil must be good in the eyes of God, because he never does anything to punish them. Not so, my wicked servants. I am patient, and I call everyone to repentance, and I do not want anyone to perish. That is why I don't immediately destroy everyone who sins against me. But know this, that day of judgment is quickly coming. The most important verses in this chapter are Malachi 2, 11 and 12, which state, Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a foreign god. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Jacob, and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that he made a covenant with Levi and he will find a faithful descendant to fulfill that covenant with. Many people break God's covenant and will get exactly what they deserve in due time. God is patient and does not immediately punish the person who sins against him because perhaps that person will repent for their sin and will turn back to him. We see that God hates divorce and he encourages everyone to stay faithful to the wife or husband of their youth. And we see that most, if not all, people will think they are doing right and good in their own eyes, only to find out later that God had a different opinion. And God's opinion is the only one that matters in the end. Of course you think you are doing right and are a good person. But does God have the same opinion that you have? You can make sure of that today. Surrender your soul to the Lord. Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus. He humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin. The Father raised Jesus from the dead. The Lord said that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, and if we believe in our heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, we would be saved. Put your trust in Him today. And thanks for watching the Malachi Chapter 2 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. I'll see you next time.